Welcome to Sandwiches of History, today from Beverages and Sandwiches for Your Husband's Friends by One Who Knows in 1893, we're going to be making the hot ham sandwich. Okay, first thing we got to do is broil some ham. It says to add pepper, then to add butter. <laughs> to moisten. And then to buttered white bread we add a leaf of lettuce, our ham, and another leaf of lettuce. Okay, let's give this hot ham sandwich a go. That's pretty good. Ham got a little crispy, which is nice. In contrast nice with the lettuce. This is actually really good. I am going to try and plus it up. This is already pretty good. Given that it's pretty close to a BLT, I'm going to go ahead and add some tomato, salt, a little pepper, and I'm going to add a little mild cheddar cheese, and a little bit of my sandwich pal from Wober's Smoky Horseradish Sauce. Get a little heat, get a little smoke. Okay, let's give this plussed up hot ham sandwich a go. That horseradish has a kick. Yeah, the ham still has a little bit of crispiness, still warm. The nice cheese flavor that the mild cheddar is bringing, the bite that the horseradish, the smoky horseradish is bringing, that's good. It's a little bit smoky. And the freshness of the tomato just kind of makes it a sandwich sandwich. And the only way that gets better is if you toast the bread, which I didn't do, but. Oh, wow. The original hot ham sandwich was quite tasty. I was kind of a little surprised. I mean, it, it sounded like the ingredients would be good, but heating up the ham really was nice. I think I'm going to give that a... I think I'm going to give the original hot ham sandwich a seven and a half. That was pretty tasty. Add in the uh, tomato with a little salt and pepper and uh, mild cheddar cheese and the smoky horseradish sauce from Wilbur's and... Uh, Man, that's dang near a 10. That's probably a 9, 9.5. If you toasted it, I think it would probably get to a 10. But I didn't toast it, so 9, 9.5 it is. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.